people believe that they are the real descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That Adam was a rosy face. He had to show blood in the face and all this other <laughs> madness. When the Most High created Adam in the richest soil on the face of the planet. You see that? You see where they boasting got them? To where they believe complete falsehood and fabricated lies. Right. Read on. Verse 20, uh, Romans 11 and 20. Well, because of the unbelief, they were broken off. Because of unbelief, a lot of our branches out of our garden were broke off. Because of our unbelief when Hamashiach came. And so on and so forth. Read. And thou standest by faith. So the, he told these Romans, you stand by faith. As long as you continue in this righteousness, follow the example of the Mashiach, keep these laws, statutes, and commandments, you stand by faith. Read. Be not high-minded. But don't be what? Be not high-minded. Be not high-minded. And we know these Gentiles are super high-minded. They just shot a rocket to the moon, quote-unquote. They do all these things, man, and it, that, it boasts they pride something awful where you can't tell these people nothing. You come with the plain truth as it is written, showing who the real seeker is, real, showing you we got to keep the Shabbat day, so on and so forth. They don't want to hear that. They're too high-minded. But they was born right here. Read. Be not high-minded, but fear. Mm -hmm. For if the Most High spared not the natural branches... The what? For if the Most High spared not the natural branches. The natural, bro. Who's the natural branches? Israel. The, he, the Most High didn't even spare his beat. Look, the people he said, you only have I known of all the fake families of the earth. He didn't even spare them because he don't play. He's about justice and judgment. Read. Take heed, least also, least he also spare not thee. You see that? So he warned him. Take heed, unless you be not spared as well. I have set my mark. Sunday is my mark. Exactly. Boasting. <laughs> nah, I brought that out. Let me see. No, read verse 24. Verse 24. Uh -huh. For if thou wert cut out of the olive tree, which is wild by nature, and wert grafted contrary to, to nature, to nature into a good olive tree, uh -huh. how much more shall these which be the natural branches be grafted into their own olive tree. See that? So he told them, like, you, you didn't came in. You know what I'm saying? The most I didn't allow y'all to come in. But how much more shall the natural branches, the true garden, be grafted back in through Hamashiach and to the, to the fold? How much more? We have the advantage every way when it, as far as these scriptures are concerned. You know what I'm saying? Brought that out to bring this, bring this forth. Let's go to Daniel 4. Let's show an ancient uh, hearty mindset when it came forth. Go to, go to Daniel 4 in the 10th verse. Let's look at one of the reigning kings of Babylon. Yes, indeed. Pick it up at uh, the 10th verse. Now, this is to get you, get you, you know what I'm saying, a, a quick backdrop. This is Nebuchadnezzar. He didn't have a dream. You know what I'm saying? So he go to Daniel, who he didn't name Belteshazzar after his own God, to get the interpretation of it. You he know did what, what to him? He named him what? Named him after his God, Belteshazzar. Notice, every time we're in a captivity, they change our names. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Read the 10th verse. Daniel chapter 4 and 10. Thus were the visions of mine head in my bed. I saw and behold a tree mm -hmm. in the midst of the earth and the height thereof was great. Now you see that? Now I remember what, what the Mashiach do with my man that was blind. He said, put his, he anointed his eyes and he says, I see men as trees walking. You see that? So the same type of spiritual thing was going on. You know what I'm saying? Just like, just exactly what Nebuchadnezzar has seen. Read. The tree grew and was strong, mm -hmm. and the heights thereof reached unto Samayim, and the sight thereof to the end of all the earth. You see that? So this tree, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that Nebuchadnezzar seen grew and was tall. Its height reached to the heavens, and it's talking about Nebuchadnezzar right here. He's the tree that he saw in his own vision. His, and his, his branches is spreading out to the four corners of the earth. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Read verse 12. 
the leaves thereof were fair, and the fruit thereof much, and it was meat for all. You see that? So just like today, America through the Vatican, so on and so forth, that combined, they treat is real tall. Its fruit goes to the four corners of the globe. Its ideologies, its thought processes, its religions go through the entire earth. And everybody's eating off of them and getting what? What is they drunk off? What is the, that harlot drunk off of? The wine. The wine. Where you get wine from? Grapes. From grapes. You know what I'm saying? Keep those things in mind. Read the 12 verse. The leaves thereof were fair, mm -hmm. and the fruit thereof much, and it was meat for all. The beast of the field. The what? The beast of the field. Who the beast of the field, bro? The other nations. Exactly. Read. The beast of the field and the shadow under it, and the fowls of the heaven dwelt in the bowls thereof, and all flesh was fed of it. Now you see that now. Let's bring this to modern day. America, which is a part of the beast of the field, through her corporations. She feeds the entire globe. She controls everything. Everything is under her shadow, just like Nebuchadnezzar right here. Why did I bring this forth? Get, 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 get verse 14 real quick. Verse 14. Mm -hmm. He cried aloud and said, Thus, hew down the tree. Do what? Cut down the tree. Oh, my goodness. Read. And cut off his branches, shake off his leaves, and scatter his fruit. Let the beast get away from under it, and the fowls from, from, from his branches. You see that? So that's exactly what's going to happen to these Gentiles that's boasting against the Most High's garden, that's, that's doing all of these things, man, in their great pride. Their tree will be cut down. Now, I brought that out to show you this parable. Let's go to Matthew 13 again and pick it up at the 31st verse. Keep in mind that Nebuchadnezzar back in the day, all the way down to this beast that's ruling today, is considered that tall tree that all the all the nations dwell up under. But in the end, what is what is the nation of Israel and righteousness going to do? Let's find out. Matthew 13 and 31. Let me read. Matthew 13 and 31. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying. The kingdom of heaven is like to a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field. So who's the kingdom of heaven? Who's the kingdom mm -hmm. of heaven? Uh, we are. Exactly, the nation of Israel. Read. Which indeed is the least of all seeds. Now, ain't we the least right now? We are the least, not regarded at all, but we have been sold into the earth. Those, like my ox said, those few little seeds that were sprinkled, we are the least. But what's going to happen? But when it grown, but when it is grown, it is the greatest among herbs. Uh huh. And become a tree. It becomes what? Become a tree. It becomes a tree. So just like Nebuchadnezzar, when he rose to height and his kingdom became that tree, just like America through the Vatican has rolled to his height and became that tree that all nations dwelt under, that's going to happen for the nation of Israel. Read. So that the birds of the air. Come and lodge in the branches thereof. You see that? So they're going to come up under our shadow and partake in the commonwealth. You know what I'm saying? You see how important it is? Understanding these symbolics so that we can actually bear fruit to the most high and be a part of this thing right here? Very important. Let's go to Isaiah 61. The book of Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 1. Isaiah 61 and 1. The Spirit of Yahuwah is upon me, because Yahuwah hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. So who is this talking about right here? About us. Right. But who, who in particular? Just the Mashiach. Oh. Remember? Most definitely. Off the rip. Go ahead. So Obama tried to use this, by the way. <laughs> right. <laughs> The scripture, brother couldn't even say scripture right. The spirit of Yahuwah is upon me, because Yahuwah have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Mm -hmm. He have sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, 
to proclaim liberty to the captives. You see that? The Masiago sent, man, to, to give liberty, to true liberty to the captives, man. Freeing our minds from all sin and wickedness. Read. And the opening of the prisons to them that are bound. Drop down to the third verse. Verse 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. And do what? That mourn in Zion. Uh -huh. To give unto them beauty for ashes. Uh -huh. The oil of joy for mourning. You see, that's all these curses we're dealing with as a nation. We It, it has us mourning right now. We're going through complete term oil as a nation. But the Mashiach was sent to help to bear that fruit that we may be fruitful. Read. The garment of praises for the spirit of heaviness mm -hmm. that they might be called trees of righteousness. Yeah, they might be called what? Might be called trees of righteousness. You see that? You see how important it is for us to bear fruit? You want to be called a tree of righteousness in the garden of the Most High, in the kingdom. Read. The planting of Yahuwah that he might be glorified. So when that fruit is brought forth in you, you will bring proper esteem to the Heavenly Father because that's what we was created for. And that's proper. Let's fulfill that duty. Go to Amos 9 and 14. <clears throat> I hope this is sinking in. You know what I'm saying? Give you some, some quick edification on how the fact that, hey, we the God. We got the best some fruit out here for the most high. If not, that fire coming down. The book of Amos 9 and 14. Amos 9 and 14. Mm -hmm. And I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel. You see that he has promised. He's going to bring us back that's been spread to the four corners. Those seeds that have been planted to the four corners of the globe. He's going to bring us back. Read. And they shall build the waste cities. Uh-huh. And inhabit them. And how these cities going to be waste? <laughs> the most high going to destroy them. Read. And they shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof. Mm -hmm. They shall also make gardens and eat the fruit of them. Mm -hmm. And I will plant them. I will what? I will plant them upon their land. You see that? You're going to be a tree of righteousness planted in your land. To be that tree... That springs forth, that gives refuge to all these other nations. You see that? You see how all these things connect? Because they are of what? Of dual nature. The Most High speaks to us in spirit and physical for you to get deep understandings. Finish that out. And I will plant them upon their land, and they shall no more be pulled up out of their land which I gave which I have given them, saith, saith Yahweh. Saith the Most High. So you will no longer be plucked up like we've been plucked up out of our land. Let's finish it out with one more scripture. Psalms 1 and the first verse. The book of Psalms chapter 1 and the first verse. Read. Psalms 1 and one, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, uh -huh. nor standeth in the way of sinners, uh -huh. nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Read. But his delight is in the law. Your delight should be in the law, because that's what helps you bring forth fruit. And you need Hamashiach coupled with that. Read. But his delight is the law of Yahweh, and in his law do he meditate day and night mm, and his law which is that light you meditate day and night read and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water he should be like what and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water a tree planted by the rivers of water read that bringeth forth his fruit in his season his leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. You see that? So once we get you get into the kingdom, whatever you do will prosper. If you meditate day and night in these laws and apply these principles that's in these scriptures. So with that, we hope you have been edified. We hope that you get some understanding as to the fact that we are the garden of the Most High. With that, we say shalom. Shalom. Again, dual nature, man. Spirit and the physical. Rise, Israel. It's time for you to become that true, righteous God for the Most High. Bear that fruit.
Shalom.